Greetings, my name is John Cardiff Gerhardt. I'm running as an independent candidate for Nevada State Assembly District 12 in the 2020 election. I am going to make a video series covering the Constitution of the state of Nevada because I was able to find one video on YouTube covering this topic and it's shoved into the end of a long video primarily covering the United States Constitution. And once we got to the state constitution, this is what was said. Just put right into the text. But lucky for you, I'm not asking you to read the Nevada Constitution because, well, look how long it is. So that is disgraceful. <laughs> because the Constitution is the law of our land. First, we are governed by the United States Constitution, and the Constitution of the state of Nevada is designed to be an extension of that Constitution. The fact that it's so long it's not worth reading or requiring students to read or having any video whatsoever online covering the Constitution is the reason why the state of Nevada is a poorly run government. And I intend to fix that. But first, you need to understand what's in this document and why it needs to change. Because the most important lesson is that this document is the law of our land. So, without further ado, let's go into the Constitution of the state of Nevada. Um, the web page by default makes the text very small. And if you print it, the text is, I think, like nine point font. So it, it looks like there's an intention to um, make it as small as possible so that you don't read it. But uh, if you're familiar with your keyboard and if you are able to read uh, this constitution online. You can always just use the uh, short key command or control plus to increase the size of your page. And lucky for us, that doesn't throw the text off the page. It just makes the text bigger. So the Constitution of the State of Nevada. The Constitution, the Nevada Constitution was framed by a convention of delegates chosen by the people lowercase people, unimportant people, not the people, which I would change. The convention met at Carson City on July 4th, 1864, and adjourned on July 28th of the same year. On the first Wednesday of September, 1864, the Constitution was approved by the vote of the people of the Territory of Nevada, and on October 31st, 1864, President Lincoln pro pro proclaimed that the state of Nevada was admitted into the Union on an equal footing with the original states. So the people in the Territory came together and said, we want to be a state. There was a convention which lasted about three weeks, a little over. And then a few months later, August, September, it was approved by the vote of the people. And then a month after that, President Lincoln, during the Civil War, turned his gaze over to the territory of Nevada, approved the vote, and proclaimed that the territory would now become a state on the premise that it was on equal footing 